Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech. Today, in this video I am going to show you configure RAID 0 striped, RAID 1 mirrored, RAID 5 parity in Windows Server 2022, we also configure a storage pool. First of all let me show you the installed disk on my server, go to run and type diskmgmt.msc Click OK. Let's maximize it. As you can see, I have total 8 disk installed on my server, one of which is 60 GB in which Windows Server 2022 installed, and the rest of the 7 disk are all 20 GB which are currently offline. Let's close Disk Management Console. Go to Server Manager. Refresh Server Manager. Click File and Storage Services. Click Disk. As you can see, all 8 disks is showing. Click on Storage Pools. Now I am going to create storage pool. Select primordial available disk, right click and select new storage pool. You can create a new storage pool from here. Apart from this, there is another option as well. From where you can create a new storage pool. Click new storage pool. Click next. Specify a storage pool name and subsystem. Click Next. Here all the 7 disks will be selected. We will make the last disk as the hot spare. What is hot spare? A hot spare, also called a hot standby is a backup component that can be placed into service immediately when a primary component fails. Click Next. Click on Create. As you can see, our storage pool is created. Click Close. After storage pool is created, the next is Create Virtual Disk. Click on this option, Otherwise can click on task under virtual disks. Click new virtual disk. Select pool. Click OK. Click next. Fill disk name. In my case I will set the disk name is simple. Click next. Click next. Click simple. Data is striped across physical disks, maximizing capacity and increasing throughput, but decreasing reliability. This storage layout requires at least one disk and does not protect you from a disk failure. Click Next. Select Thin, under Provisioning Type. Click Next. Specify the size of the disk capacity. I have set the 20 GB space on striped disk. Click Next. Click on Create. This option means, you will create new volume at the same time. I am uncheck this option, I will create new volume later. Click Close. Our simple disk is created. Now I am going to create new mirror disk. Click Task. Click New Virtual Disk. Select Pool. Click OK. Click Next. Specify the virtual disk name. Click Next. Click Next. Select Mirror. Data is striped across physical disks, creating two or three copies of your data. This increase reliability, but reduce capacity. To protect against a single disk failure, use at least two disk. Three if you are using a cluster, to protect against two disk failure, use at least five disks. Click Next. Choose Mirror Type. Two-way mirror, 
stores two copies of your data, helping to protect you from a single disk failure, this option requires at least two disks. 3-Way Mirror, stores three copies of your data, helping to protect you from two simultaneous disk failures, this option requires at least five disks. I will choose 3-Way Mirror. Click Next. Select Thin, under Provisioning Type. Click Next. Specify the size of the disk capacity. Click Next. Click on Create. Our mirror disk is created. Click Close. Now I am going to create new parity disk, click task, click new virtual disk, select pool, click OK, click next, fill disk name, click next, click next again, select parity. Data and parity information are striped across physical disks, increase reliability, but some with reducing capacity and performance. To protect against a single disk failure, use at least three disks. To protect against two disks failures, use at least seven disks. Click Next. Select Thin, under Provisioning Type. Click Next. Specify the size of the disk capacity. Click Next. Click on Create. Our parity disk is created. Click close. Now this time to create new volume. Click next. Select disk. Example I will select parity to create as parity volume. Choose volume size. Choose drive ladder. Click Next. Set the name volume label, if you want. Click Next. Click on Create. Click Close. Similarly, we will also create RAID 1 mirror and simple volume. After create all volumes, I will check storage pool health. Right click on storage pool. Select Properties. Click on Health. As you can see, the storage pool status is healthy. Our storage pool capacity is 136 GB. Click General. In this general box is showing pool capacity, how much pool space used and how much pool space left. Now I will go to the drives. Open this PC. Let's maximize it. As you can see, these are the drives, what we made. So viewers, in this video you can learn how to create storage pool, how to configure software RAID like Mirror aka RAID 1 and Parity aka RAID 5, you can also see the storage pool health. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.